Welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner, and today I'm going to be talking about Nth Degree by John Gustafero. Before I do this review, can you like and subscribe? Check out onlinemagic.co. That's my membership site. I would say it's good on bias, so please have a look at the Trustpilot reviews. I keep it at $9.99 a month because like this month I've been very busy, so I haven't put as much content on, but actually I've just put a whole course on Sponge Ball Magic from beginning of the pro, so that ain't bad, is it? And there's about 900 other videos on there, literally. So have a look at that, live sessions. We had Lord Harry on the other day. It was such a great session. You get so much for your money, and it's all good quality stuff if you can bear me for 900 videos uh, with the respite of a few other people. Do please follow me on Instagram, Steve Faulkner, TikTok, Steve, S-T-E, uh, like the beginning of Steve, I've got a list, so some of you are going to think I said F for Freddy. Uh, Steve Faulkner, without the V-E, on TikTok, because this stuff's going down really well, um, off nth degree. I've been doing a, a few tricks, I've learned every single trick in this book. I was going to wait till I'd, I'd put every trick in the book on social media, but that's ridiculous. That's just my obsessive ADHD brain um, avoiding actually doing this. John's book, One Degree, came out 13 years ago, I think, which is terrifying. It feels like about three years ago. And this is a sequel to that. He's been very prolific. He's put a lot of stuff out. It is persistently good quality. Consistently, even. Good quality. Persistently sounds a bit bad, doesn't it? Um, good quality and it, with this i kind of thought how is he getting where does he come where does his ideas come from and he talks about that in the essays i'll say there are i think it's five essays in here which talk about creativity um seeing things from a different perspective as do the tricks seeing for, uh, things through a different perspective no i'm not going to do it i'm not going to go for all of them no i'm not um i just thought has he got an essay on seeing things from a different <laughs> i think i'm getting confused with the trick so what John is very good at, which is a whole point of one degree and nth degree, is taking existing plots, because let's be honest, there aren't that many that are really good, and he's covered all of them in here, and just elevating them even more. And he genuinely does. What I'll try and do is go through each chapter to give you a kind of overarching feel of what we've got. But I think it's important to say that when people say, oh, this elevates it. Sometimes it really doesn't. Sometimes they think a trick's elevating it because it's got some story that they've shoehorned into it or they've added a thing that just doesn't make it better at all. It's, this genuine is stuff that he's tried and tested. And I know he has because I talked to him about these tricks before the book was finished. You know, tricks that he performs regularly. And you can tell this is proper worker stuff. A lot of books claim it. Most... Of, I reckon 10%, you know, you would actually do a gig with this, every single one of them. I think many of us kind of see the sort of eradication of slights sometimes as a weakness. In this case, and in many cases here, it genuinely isn't. Even though you still have no idea what's in this book, I have learned every trick. So I can accurately tell you that there are tricks in here for not beginner beginners, but but pretty much no sleight of hand in that are just as miraculous that self-checkout is just mind-blowing and they do the whole thing pretty much all of these moves and these things of you know changing parts of the deck and all the things he's added to it do not add time for time's sake or clutter or cleverness to make it look clever they they usually take away time or add the feeling of magic because this can't possibly happen and this i forgot to mention the trick which i do think is important to mention because it's a good example um it's change maker right so the standard trick which is absolutely brilliant of course they choose a card you turn it over so is that your card they say no you put it on there oh it's gone and then you pick it up and it's changed into their card he's pretty much done that exact same trick but added this idea of a rubber dub vanish but not as a vanish or a, or a delayed vanish which is brilliant because it totally takes the heat off it. I know it's kind of delayed anyway. Where he's added two moments of magic. The naming of the card and the card going to the pocket. Actually, loads of moments of magic. But the important bits are, rather than just doing the switch, they're convinced you've got the card. It then vanishes, and it's the card that ends up under their hand with some more stages in there that I'm not going to tell you about. 
because it would ruin it or if I'm being totally honest can't remember but I do perform it a lot it's just gone out of my head but the reason I'm telling you that is that they're all things like that there will, there'll be a lot that you already kind of do and can do that you'll that may be part of a routine that you'll think now that is a whole routine in itself it's a really good book it's for all levels even if you do a quarter of the tricks in it it's going to be way worth it I'll even say two of the tricks in it it's going to be worth it and with the essays I think it's a you know for that little book there is way more in this than there is in I'd say 80 percent of those books on that shelf not they're not great but this is just pretty much every trick you're going to be going oh I could do that and you will be able to do it with a bit of practice you might have to put a bit of work in but that's all right isn't it because we're magicians and that's what we do thank you very much if you're still here well done uh, I think that was a bit shorter than the other one that I did but if you've got any questions which you will have one of them maybe what was all that about what did you say uh, I will be putting more of these tricks on social media I will of course answer questions and um, I'm doing the podcast again so I'll answer questions on the podcast if you've got any questions at all steve at onlinemagic.co I will answer any questions on the podcast that you have about anything unless it's offensive uh, and I might even still do it then so do that follow me on Instagram Steve Faulkner TikTok Steve Faulkner uh, Facebook Steve Fulton, you can follow me there, and onlinemagic.co. Thanks very much. The next one will be more concise. Thanks, John. It's a stunner. Take care. Like and subscribe. Cheers.